Hi, I'm Frank Mims, creator of the Mims Morning Meeting, a sales enhancement training tool for the business-to-business -business salesperson. How's that week going? You know, that's my favorite question, to find out how that week is doing, what you're doing with it, why you're doing something with it, and if you're making your numbers. That's important. Look, you know how this show goes. I've got three questions. Hopefully, I've got three good answers, so let's get into it. The first question is from Renee, and it's a short one. How do I find the prospect's true objective? Ah, I like that. Straight to the point. Here's how you do it, Renee. You ask. You have your questions phrased, and you phrase your questions so it gets to the value of what, you, of what the company does. You want to answer the, the, the five top ones. Who, what, when, where, how, and why. You want to get those out of the customer in the interview process right off the bat. Build rapport with those questions. You can mix some personal with some business. Always helps to relax the customer. But once you get him talking about himself, herself, let them talk. Remember, the 80-20 rule still applies here. It may be old school. It may be a little eccentric. But if you're talking 80% of the time, they're only talking 20% of the time. And you're not getting the information you need. Reverse it. Let them talk 80%. You do 20%. Have good quality questions. You want to understand their environment. Don't go in assuming that you know their environment. Not true. Don't understand it. Simply because they make widgets doesn't mean they make widgets the same way the company does down the street that you talk to. Understand their environment. Understand what drives them. What makes them different than any other widget maker on earth? Where is their value to their customer? Then you can show where your value would be to them. Ask. Have your questions ready. Understand it. Do your research. Do your homework. The internet has proven to be a great tool for getting information about the company. But don't assume that everything you've got on the internet is true. You've only got the surface layer. Just the surface layer. you got to dig deep. You want to ask those second, third, and fourth level questions so you can get down to where the root of the problem is. And then you can set it up how can your products serve him better. That's sales. That's the way to do it. 80 20 rule, don't forget it. Good question. Thanks a lot. Uh, my next question comes from Bob. Bob says, I've been selling for nine years. With this tough economy, the pressure to make my number is unbearable. Tell me about it, Bob. Everybody's having the same problem. Too much pressure, but I love the rewards at the end of the sale. I guess he means the money. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, his question is, how do I survive another nine years in selling in this economy? Well, let me correct a couple of things that, 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 I, that I picked up in here. Number one, this economy is not going to be bad for another nine years. It won't be. Just like everything else, it has its ups and its downs. What you need to find out is where your even keel is in the up and down and stay in that, in that keel. Secondly, this will help you also. Get yourself some training. Any kind of training. Invest a little bit of money into yourself. It will help you a lot. Talk to other people about where you are. Talk to people in your office. Talk to people in other industries. Get a better picture of where things are. And you're not going to like this one, but I'm going to tell you this. Turn off your local news. Turn off your international news. Do that very sparingly. The news to me, or the media to me, seems to have a depressing idea about just about everything. What did it say? If it bleeds, it leads. Turn it off. Don't watch as much of it. When you're in your car, Find something different to listen to. 
Get you some books on tapes and listen to those and educate yourself that way. But turn the media off. It will help your attitude. It will help your disposition. It will make you a different person going into the call than, it will, than coming out of the call. Trust me. Do those things. Let's see if it works. Hit me back with another email if you would. Let me know if those things work. Try for about 30 days. Let's see what happens. Ah, my next question is from Don. Hmm, this is, this is an interesting one. I am not a salesperson. Well, Don, right off the bat, I'm going to have to disagree with you. I think you are a salesperson. I am not a salesperson. I do not have a sales job. Many people have told me I should be in sales. I am afraid to move from my current position. What should I do? A little bit different question than we normally get. Uh, here's, my, here's, my, here's my take on this, Don. You would like to be in sales. If other people have told you you need to be in sales, you've got some salespeople quality that they see. You probably just need a little bit of policy. But you've gotten comfortable with that Nine to five, that steady paycheck job. Yeah, salespeople have to pay their dues. They have to go through the rough times. Most sales managers and most sales companies won't tell you that, but they do. It's going to be a bunch of lows before you get to the highs. All those people that you see in your company that are on high were the ones at the, at the low point. But they stuck it out. Now they're making the monies that they want to make. So, Don, you have to make a decision. Do you want to make more money? Your email did not say that. But if you want to make more money, if you want to have more autonomy, sales is, is the ideal thing for you. Start by getting you a little bit of sales training while you're in the position you're in. See if you like it. You know, if your company has salespeople, try to go out on a call with them one or two times a month. See what you, see what you think about it. See if you like the environment. Sounds like you do. You're just afraid to take the lead. And that's human nature. But jump out there. Sales is the best job I've ever had. The best job I've ever had. It works. Look, I'm Frank Mims. Creator of the Mims Morning Meeting. We're here every week. Come back and see us. Check out all of my videos. Email me your questions at the Mims Morning Meeting at gmail.com. Again, that's Mims Morning Meeting at gmail.com. Or pick up the phone and give me a call. 832 259 3708. That's 832 259 3708. Give me a call with your question. I'll answer it right while we're on the phone, plus, I'll put a little bit of it on the air. Thanks a lot. Have a great week. We're almost in the fourth quarter. It's been a good, been a good run. Thank you.